Rodriguez and Lockie, what more do you want to see from them before announcing a backup quarterback? Well, to announce a backup quarterback, you know, ideally separation, but um, probably even, I guess, more ideally and makes it harder on us is, is just great play from both of them, you know, great consistent play from both of them. And if, if it comes to that point where they're, they're both playing really well and consistent, that's a great, that's a great dilemma. Is so there you any still want to see them separate? Is there any <laughs> so far? Not really. I mean, there's, there's been a couple days here and there where one guy's um, had the upper hand, but, but there's no... At this point, there's no significant separation. Do you plan to make announcements on depth chart announcements like that, red shirt decision announcements before the Not really. Yeah, not really. How do you feel about preseason polls? They're great for the media and for the fans to, to talk about and argue about. And after that, they, you know, it's, it's that's neat. But after that, it really doesn't matter to, to, to our guys or to us. One of the things you had to do in this offseason was replace two really good linebackers. Who's kind of stood out to you this fall? Like who might even fill that role for you, those two roles? That's another place where there's a ton of great competition. You know, we talked about the backup quarterback spot. Uh, it's a different guy every day. Uh, Derek Malone showed up a bunch today, running running great. Uh, Rodney Hardrick has been really good. Um, uh, Joe Walker's been really good at times. Uh, Raheem Cassell's been really good at times. Tyson Coleman's been in and out, uh, inside and outside. Uh, practicing really well, so again, there's not a lot of proven, seasoned, crusty veterans, but a bunch of guys that are that are running fast and playing hard.